Hello and welcome to this video. It's um, today I'm going to be showing how to make a very simple scrolling platformer. And yeah, so this, so to start out, I'm actually gonna, I recently made another video where I showed how to make a platformer game. So you can just use that. Although for it, I'm gonna just have the player sprite and the grout sprite. So I eventually show how to do like other things, but for this, I'm just gonna have the player and ground sprite. So to start out, so you have your platformer. So you need to have a pre-made one pretty much, but it's like an addition to it. Um, but the it's pretty simple. Okay, it doesn't look simple, but it is. So once you have this, you have your two sprites. From here, it's actually surprisingly simple um, to transform this into a scrolling platformer. So first of all, I'm actually gonna rename, I'm actually gonna switch around the player and ground sprites. So this is gonna be my ground sprite and this is gonna be my player sprite. There we go. And so that's just changing the names, but I'm just doing that because we're gonna change around what they actually are. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get rid of the second level and just a very simple level into here and then I'm just gonna use a square so I'm just gonna paint a new sprite it's just gonna be a very simple square and this one's gonna say just go to x0 y0 and that's all it has to do so now as you can see it almost looks like a platformer although you will notice it like it's weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start out by flipping the gravity. So I'm just going to say instead of change y speed by negative 1, change it by 1. Now also there's one other thing. You'll need to set the up arrow, the jumping, to be negative. Now it still doesn't work, which is because in my code it moves you down and then checks and then moves you back up so I'm gonna to need to move you up and then check because the ground sprite is checking the player so it actually looks like you're scrolling around on the screen and then from here all you have to do is well actually there's several things but to start all you have to do is now this part might be different if you're using different code but in mine I made slope detection so I'm also gonna to need to have all of this change y by stuff in here be reversed so just change y by negative one so now we can go up slopes kind of again but like you don't have to use it if you're doing different code then you pretty much just have to anytime it changes y flip it around or detects y some other stuff just flip it to negatives or if it's already negative to positives then the one other thing that has to be done is to flip the movement. So, right, so now the left brings you to the left. Although, so you also have to flip all of the X movement, so pretty much just have to flip all the movement. So now this will do negative 10 when you go to the right because it's the the other because the player sprite is actually kind of like the ground like the the ground is moving around as if it's the player but it acts exactly the same it's just instead of the player moving around the screen the ground moves around the screen but now you might see it might seem hard because like you can't really do anything outside of this box so a trick I use is I'm gonna just completely recreate this so I'm just gonna have a simple line here to start I'll make the line a little thicker so I have this line and I'm also going to around the outside just draw a simple box the reason why I'm doing this is because you always want your sprite to be super big because it can only go like off screen if there's more of a sprite off screen so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this, I'm going to call it setup, and what it's going to do is switch to the setup costume, which is just, just make it be anything, it can just be a small square in the center, something kind of like this. 
So at the start, you, what you want it to do is switch the costume to set up, and then set size to something very large. In this example, I'm using 500, and then switch costume to your level. And now, as you can see, that's that's very off-centered, but... Yeah, wait, what? Oh, yeah, you'll also want to probably start it in the middle, maybe not. But now, as you can see, since it's so much larger, you can fit like way more stuff in here like if I just move to the like the side I'll just put like a few very simple obstacles here as you move to the side you can have much more space to work with than a single screen which is pretty cool I think and also before I go I'm gonna show how you would include um a another thing like if you wanted to have the death zone so I'm not actually gonna make the death zone functional but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pretend that it is like I mean it's not gonna actually kill you but it I'm gonna show how to make it move around so let's say I just like put it here and here and here so right now it does so right now if you just add it it seems really weird because it acts the same it is moving around too, but using the same variables, so it's just like really weird and trippy. Uh, anyways, so how you will add it, how to add it, just get rid of all this code, you don't need this, you don't need this, and then just leave this starting part, get rid of all the movement code and variable changing, and then just so you can get rid of this, you don't need that, and then just say go to ground. Boom, that's that's a, it's as simple as that. Just you just have to make it be constantly going to the ground and it will all be fine. Although you do need to remember to keep the outside box or it will possibly get offsetted. Like if you if I get rid of this box then when you go to the side you just kinda see it hanging out on the side, which probably don't want because it doesn't look good and it's usually not that good looking if you just have a giant black border around the edge of your screen either.